Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to cover Pendulum Summoning. Pendulum Summoning is probably the most complicated mechanic in the whole of the game. And so I'm going to need to go into a little bit of depth of this. Firstly, I'm going to show you a Pendulum card. Now, in this case I've got DD Orthros. We have a level 4 monster. And the fact that it's a monster is shown by the fact it's got its orange background. But it's also got this green background. And that shows that it's also a spell card, and so can be set into our spell and trap zone. The spell effect is in this centre text here. Once per turn you can target one spell or trap card on the field, and one other DD or dark contract card you control and destroy them. And then it's got its monster effect. When you take battle or effect damage, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is special summoned to your field, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn, except fiend type monsters. I can, if I want to, because it's a level 4 monster, normal summon that. I can also, if I've already got that on the field, quite happily tribute summon it. But when a pendulum card is tribute summoned, destroyed by battle damage, or destroyed by non-specific card effect, instead of going to the graveyard, we in fact send it to the top of our extra deck face up. At the edges of the spell effect text, we've got our pendulum scale. And so our pendulum scale will denote what monsters we're able to summon in between that. In this case, I've got a DD Savant Galili, which has got a pendulum scale of one. So I'm going to set that into the pendulum zone next to my extra deck. DD Savant Kepler has got a pendulum scale of 10. And so I'm going to set that into my pendulum zone next to my main deck. And now I'm going to sit there and I'm going to say, I'm going to perform a pendulum summon. And with a pendulum scale of 1 to 10, I'm then allowed to summon monsters whose levels are between 2 and 9. And they go into my main monster zone. So performing my pendulum summon, I'm going to start off with a level 3 DD Night Howl. I'm then going to summon a level 5 DD Proud Chevalier. And then I'm going to summon a level 7 DD Savant Newton. I can also... Pendulum summon from the monsters that I've placed face up in my extra deck. But as any monster coming from the extra deck, it must go into an extra monster zone unless we've got link options to bring them down into the main monster zones. And so my DD Orthros will be special summoned to my extra monster zone. That's about all there is for pendulum summoning. The only thing that I will note is if you have a pendulum scale of one, if you have a level one monster, you can't pendulum summon that. It must be level 2 or higher. If we've got a pendulum scale of level 10, you can't summon a level 10 monster. It must be level 9 or lower. And so we just summon in between those two figures. So that's pretty much all there is for pendulum summoning, guys. The next video I'm going to look at is going to be ritual summoning. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.